Introducing to you first, finding out of the blue corner. Ему 37 лет, рост 172 сантиметра, вес 70 и 60 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 23 победы, 12 поражений, его стиль ударная техника. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 37 years old. He stands 172 centimeters tall, official weight 70.6 kilos. As a striker with a professional record, 23 victories, 12 defeats. Дамы и господа, из Пинска, Республика Беларусь, Фотон, Артем Дамковский. И его соперник красного угла клетки. He's the opponent finding a the red corner. Бойцу 32 года, рост 180 сантиметров, вес 70 и 80 килограмма. Его профессиональный рекорд состоит из 37 побед против 8 поражений, и его стиль также ударная техника. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 32 years old. He stands 180 centimeters tall, official weight 70.8 kilos. His professional record consisting of 37 victories against 8 defeats. His style is striker. Dame and господа, Islamska Russia, приветствуйте Alexander Tiger Sarnovsky. And your referee in charge, Lukas Basatsky. Lukas Basatsky is the referee in charge of this bout. So this fight is for all hardcore fans. As we know, Sarnovsky works more with his arms and elbows, and Damkovsky works more with his legs. And uh, by the way, David, as far as I remember, that this fight should have been organized much more earlier, but it right. never happened at the M1 tournament, as far as I remember. But In it 2012, never happened. right. Oh, nice. Nice exchange of the center. Yesterday in the interview, Sarnovsky said that he is ready to even wrestle with Damkovsky. He is prepared for this bout, not only as a striker. So let's see. And you know what? That many members of uh, the Storm Fight School were often criticized that they like to fight in stance only. They are only good at fighting in stance, and when it comes up to the ground, they always lose. And look at that. Big slam. That's Bank exactly slam. that Sarnovsky had told yesterday. And by the way, the native bone striker Alexander Sarnovsky has more submission wins than yes. knockout wins. And a good control from Alexander Sarnovsky. He put the legs inside, he tries to expand the opponent, but firstly I need I think that he needs to strike. And that is exactly what he does. Shoots the body. Yeah, from this opportunity, there is a good chance to strike and to finish the fight even. Because uh, from this position, Damkovsky couldn't, couldn't Do anything. Defend, defend himself well. Well, uh, I'm looking at Alexander Slamenko that is, that is sitting beside us. And actually, well, he is still pretty calm because his fighter is on top, his fighter is dominating, he has a very good position, so there is no need to to nervous. Well, Many people underrated Sarnovsky's skill in wrestling, but look at that, the way he does it right now. And a good defense, by the way, from Artem Domkovsky, because he traps his opponent's hands, both hands, so that's why Alexander Sarnovsky does not have a single opportunity, a single chance to release the hands and to, to strike, or maybe to produce a choke. And through all the career, no one could outstrike Damkovsky in the stance. He's so dangerous as a striker. That's why a lot of fighters, even strikers, prefer to wrestle him. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And uh, by the way, I forgot to say that um, Alexander Sarnovsky had his last fight uh, last year in September when he lost to the top AC fighter Abdulaziz Abdullah Wahabov. Actually, this fighter is here in the ringside watching this fight. 
and so far it is a very good position for Alexander Sarnowski and Artem Domkovsky tries to hit from behind tries to hit with an elbow and control on the hand he knows how to defend himself here but still he lose, he's losing right now because of this position well Artem Domkovsky has the experience on his side well, the same thing we can say about Alexander Sarnowski yeah. because I think that they fight, they are fighting for years. Artem Domkovsky made his professional debut in 2006. Just, yes. just imagine, he's fighting for more than 15 years already. Yes, and of course there is a question whether this fighter passed his prime time or not. Of course, if he it's... has passed his peak. Yeah. Of course, it's very hard to be uh, at, at 37 years old, the person, the fighter who you used to be at 20. And look at that, what Sarnowski does right now. He took the back, tries to choke out Damkowski. And actually, I don't see where is the second hand of Alexander Sarnowski if, if the grip is that side. And I think that it, can, it could be it. I think that it could be. No, no. Artem Damkowski is still in the game and 10 seconds to go. Sarnowski uses only one hand right now, I think. Yes. That's it! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh, there is a tap. And here yeah. is Abdulaziz Abdul Wahabov, actually the guy that defeated Artem or uh, Alexander Sarnowski in the last fight. But just three seconds or yeah. two or something like that. I think Damkowski couldn't hear it, couldn't hear the count. That's why he decided to tap. And another one thing I would like to mention that uh, the members of the Storm Fight School, they never tap. Yeah. If they get into the grip, if they get submitted, they never tap out. They prefer to slip in the, in the grip, they prefer to leave the, uh, to stay out of the conscience or maybe to get the arm broken or something like that, but they never tap. It's a rule. It's a rule. For well, the, team, the main yeah. rule, and yeah. uh, Alexander Shlemenko always says in the all interview that uh, he would prefer to die. Well, and actually, it's true, because we never saw Alexander Shlomenko tapping out. Sleeping in the grip, yes, being knockout, uh, yes, but no, господа, never tapping. Ladies and gentlemen, we have time. Four minutes and 55 seconds of round number one. Uh, Udushenko and Shlomenko. Time for minutes and 55 seconds of round number one. Удушающим приемом победу одержал and your winner by submission victory, rear naked choke. Alexander Tigar Sarnovsky! Россия, Омск! Congratulations to Alexander Sarnovsky, the Tiger. Ваши аплодисменты, эти воины, дайте шума, друзья! Александр!